Hey everyone, my name is Brian, and in this quick video we're going to take a look at two ways to build and run a Docker container with one command. Let's get started. All right, let's jump into the application. Starting out, I have a Docker file here, uh, just a simple Docker file uh, using a node image. Uh, we do some installation and we start up a simple node server. Now right next to it, I have a source folder. And in that source folder, I have a single app.js file. This is my application that I want to uh, build and run in a Docker container. And I want to start by building and running it locally before I push it out and deploy it. Inside my package.json, I have a single npm start command. Uh, this will start my node uh, application running. The first way we'll start uh, is to concatenate by running a docker build dash t name the docker image that we want to create uh, add docker run and pass in the port that we want to expose as part of our uh, application and then we'll pass in the name of the image that was just created this will go through our docker file install any dependencies and start up our application running. Now if we hop over to our browser, we can see that in action. If we go to localhost, port 5000, uh, and then slash customers was our API endpoint, we can see that our server is up and running. Perfect. So that's one way. Now let's take a look at a different way to uh, build and run in Docker. First, we'll pass in the docker run command, uh, passing in the dash p again to map our ports between the container and the host. I also like to pass in the dash dash rm flag, and what this does is we'll remove the running container when it, we stop the instance, followed by the docker build dash q dot command. And what that does is we'll tell docker to build the image um, using quiet mode and it outputs just the hash of the image that was created. That hash is then passed into the docker run command. Alright, two ways to build and run docker using one command. We'll see you next time.